Hey, what's up? This is Kelly Berry from Kelly Berry Media. Today I wanted to showcase the 85mm Zeiss f1.4 for Contax Yashica mount. Uh, this is a lens I recently purchased for my Sony a7 II camera and it is beautiful. Everything about it from the fit and finish of the build to the image quality itself is just excellent and superb on this lens. As you can see, it's a pretty big lens. I mean, 85 millimeters, there's a lot of glass that goes into these, so it's a pretty dang big lens. Um, but that's not a, a, an issue. The only thing I think that there's somewhat of an issue with is the weight. And it's the, the weight of this lens itself is extremely heavy, but once you add on the adapter, it gets to be extremely heavy. Almost, I, I almost feel like it's like 5D Mark III territory, um, you know, when you put the lens on onto the camera. But that's not a big deal, and you know, you know, when you get really nice uh, build quality, you get an, a very heavy lens. I feel, you know, a lot of the times when the build quality is a lot nicer and it's it's a, a bigger, better lens, um, it's going to weigh a little bit more. So as you can see here, the glass on the front is just massive. I mean, it's just it it almost reminds me of you know a, a telescope or something. It's just wide open glass. Um, the aperture rings are very nice goes down to f1.4 so you can get some really nice depth of field. Overall I found the image quality to be excellent on this lens. Um, the bulk is very nice, just the detail overall is very nice. It's a great lens for portraits or you know if you have some still subject that's in front of you, um, it's a great lens. I've taken it out a few times to do some street photography and other than the weight it's just a perfect lens you know for low light situations and, uh, and I've been really happy with it. The focus ring itself is very nice. It's not my favorite. Um, after having that Zeiss Loxia 50mm f2, I'd have to say that's a little bit nicer in terms of the smoothness, um, but overall I've had no problems. Very nice. The aperture ring, it is a little, you know, it, it moves a little bit, but it's not anything horrible. Um, and it does have a nice click to it. So when you're dialing in your aperture, um, it's very nice. But at the same time, you're not going to be, if you're going to be buying this lens, you probably won't be moving it out of that f1.4 spot. So um, overall, very nice. For the build quality, it's, it's a tank, you know, the, a lot of glass elements inside and just a very heavy metal build to it. So very cool. Um, I wanted to just show you what it would look like with the adapter. Now, there's so many different adapters you can get out there. I've gotten this one, uh, it's by Foca, which I believe is newer, it's something like that, you know, it's, um, it was like $12, and I, I know you can get a really expensive one, and when you're paying a lot of money for a, a legacy lens like this, you maybe want to get a nicer adapter, but I've had no problems with these Focas, I have a few of them now, and uh, no problems whatsoever, so let me just attach it real quick, if I can line up the, uh, there we go. So as you can see, it does add a little bit in terms of the size of this lens, not by a much, um, as you can see, uh, you know, not, not by too much. So, but it does add a lot of weight. So this is, when you have this lens with this adapter, it does get pretty heavy, but it's not a deal breaker in any, any respect. So let me actually just put it on the camera so you guys can see. So here we have uh, my Sony a7 II, and let me just put it on the camera real quick. There we go. Now that is a nice combination. Um, again, this is a very nice lens for street photography, for portraiture, um, and it, overall it looks very nice. It's, it is very heavy, like I said, it's almost like 5D Mark III territory in terms of the heft of this lens combination with the, uh, the adapter, but um, you know, when you got something that looks that good, and honestly that feels that good, this weight is very nice. I like things that are a little bit heavier just because, you know, it just it gives you something sturdy to hold on to, especially when you're trying to get those long shutter speed shots. So if you have any questions about this lens or uh, even the Sony a7 or anything else, please let me know in the comments below and I'll be sure to get to them. And also, please uh, make sure to subscribe because I will be doing a lot of these types of videos um, and focusing a lot on the Sony a7 and the, the mirrorless cameras. So thank you very much and until next time.